Hey guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to The Tiny Herd, where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today, I have a massive, massive pet supply haul for you guys. Like, everything just, it's just a lot. So I've tried to film this video multiple times. All this stuff was delivered on multiple days, and I was filming each day, but I just decided to sit down today and show you guys everything exactly what I got, and the whole like twist of this video is a lot of this stuff is for a specific thing and I'm not going to tell you what that thing is until the very end of the video so make sure you stay to the end of the video to figure out why I bought all this stuff. But I'm just going to start grabbing stuff out of this pile because this might take a while. Okay so I'm just going to start grabbing stuff out of this bin because there's so much stuff here. So from the top <laughs> First thing I have, this is from Amazon, it's just this little climbing rope that you attach to a cage. So this works for little climbing animals, so I have that. Then I have lots and lots of dog ropes here. These are all from the dollar store. Um, like I said, I'm not telling you guys why I have all these things. You're going to just have to guess throughout this video, so put your guess down below in the comments. But I have a lot of dog ropes here. This is literally $6 worth of dog ropes from the dog store. From the dog store. From the dollar store. So I have those. And then also from the dollar store, I have this blue, like, organizing bin. I think it's supposed to be a paper tray, but this is going to be a cage accessory. And then also from the dollar store, I have two of these green bins that are like a kind of smaller size, also to be cage accessories, and then I have two of these bigger ones. So these are blue, obviously. And then in here, I got these from Amazon, but I have a bunch of these shower curtain hooks, just like clear ones. And they're going to be to hang some stuff on a cage. So I have that stuff. I'm trying not to just speed through this, but there's so much stuff here, you guys. Okay, um, next up I have this blue tunnel that obviously expands and bends and stuff. Um, I think this is the Night Angel brand, and this is from Amazon. Next up I have two smaller 8-ounce water bottles. I just got a two-pack from Amazon. And to go along with that, this is also to be a water dish. It's bigger than I was trying to get, but it does have a thing to attach onto a cage. So this is going to be a water bowl that I use in addition to the water bottle. Um, next up, I have this. This is, if you guys can tell, this is a acrylic foraging toy that I think is meant for birds. Um, but basically you like fill the different compartments, if you can tell there's different compartments in there. You fill those with different food and snacks and then the pet will turn this to um, get in these holes and try to get the different snacks out. So that is just a little foraging toy. So again, if you have any idea, some of you are going to guess by the end of this video what this stuff is for and why I bought it. But go ahead and leave your guesses down below as I go as well. Um, next I'm going to show you these two corner litter boxes that I got. These are from Amazon as well. Again, they like have little um, things that come with them to attach them to the side of a cage. So I got those. Okay. And then this I actually got from a local pet store. This is specifically for Snickers. Um, this is for Snickers Mouse. I got this just because I thought it was cute and I was in a local pet store anyways and they had this so I picked this up for her because I thought it was funny. Then when I was at the local pet store I also got another bag of guinea pig pellets because we were running low and the main reason we stopped in at that pet store is because um, I wanted to ask them if they could order me in bigger bags of this and they can. So from now on I'm going to be getting pellets from the local store instead of getting them from Amazon which I would rather do because it's like a locally owned small like pet store that it actually specializes in um, 
like dog and cat nutrition they don't sell animals or anything like that so they're pretty good so i would rather give my money to them than buying everything from amazon next up i have more food so i have two bags of the tiny friends farm reggie rat and mimi mouse food we're gonna start getting into things that are gonna kind of clue you guys into what the heck I'm doing. But I also have this ball, this bag of colorful ping pong balls. So that's gonna be a fun thing. I'm not gonna tell you guys what those, that's for, but that's gonna be fun. Um, then I have this little bag of dried mealworms here. And this is gonna be a food as well. A lot of stuff left. <laughs> um, I'll show you this. This is, yesterday's news cat litter so it's just paper based cat litter um and i just got this online from walmart because that was the cheapest place that i could find it so i have that um okay the rest of this is gonna give it away so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this stuff so well this first thing's not so i have a whole bunch of cereal here um, so you can tell these are all very general, not sugary, nothing added. So I have, you know, Aldi brand, Bran Flakes and Crisp Rice or Rice Krispies. And then we have a box of Cheerios and we have a box of Corn Flakes. <laughs> if anybody's figured out what I'm doing, go ahead. I have a box of pasta. I have two bags of lentils here. Yes, this is all for pets. This is pet related. And then I have this thing of oats here. I have a bag of whole raw sunflower seeds. And then same thing except for pumpkin seeds. Again, it is for a pet food. And then last food related thing, I have this bag of flaxseed, which I got from my local grocery store. All of this food stuff came from the grocery store, except for the seeds came from Amazon because I couldn't find seeds literally any of the local grocery stores. Okay, last couple of things. I have this Sputnik hide house, so it can go this way or you can hang it upside down from the top of the cage. So some of you are probably knowing exactly what I've got. And then I have these two lava ledges, which also attach to the side of a cage to be a platform place for an animal to climb. And then I have this, which is a pop-up pet playpen, which I will put in some footage of this actually popped up, but it's huge. So I'm not going to unpop it right now, but that's going to be a playpen for a creature. And then last but not least, I have this tray that I got from Lowe's, which is going to go in our new cage, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. But that was my big, huge pet haul. I just talked for eight minutes. I can see in the camera. That's how much stuff that I have. So, if you've waited to this point in the video to figure out what the heck is going on, you might be able to tell if you are familiar with these animals, but I am getting two pet rats. So, there are two pet rats, or there are two rats at my local Humane Society that are bonded and need a home. So, we decided that we wanted to branch out and we were going to go get the pair of rats. So, we actually got to meet them last weekend and they're really sweet and honestly are pretty tame already. I think they're about seven or eight months old. So I'm getting everything set up. You guys will see more of this coming up, of course, but I wanted to do a big massive haul because you guys seem to really like pet supply hauls. So that was a lot of stuff. I spent a lot of money setting this up, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm excited. I'm gonna be doing a video coming up that's going to be a big giant pet vlog of like multiple days almost a week of pet care because i want to really show and stress 
the amount of work that having a lot of animals is because I know a lot of my viewers are like high school age and want a lot of pets and I just really want to show real life what having a lot of pets is. This is going to put us up to 12 animals plus a fish so I want to show what that's really like. You don't need a whole to go out and get a whole bunch of animals um, if you don't have the means to. So I just wanted to throw that in there but I'll be talking about that later in a other video so I'm going to put all this stuff back and then go get our cage put our cage together and show you guys what cage the ratties are going to be living in all right guys so this is the last thing from our haul this is our new cage for our pet rats that we're going to be getting this is the midwest critter nation we did get the double size and they're going to get the whole entire thing you can see I've put a lot of the stuff that I showed you guys in the haul in the cage, but you guys will get more of a cage tour and all of that once I get the rats and when I introduce them to you guys. But this is the last thing in the haul is this cage. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below in case you guys are interested in any of this stuff. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed getting to see this massive pet supply haul for our new babies. I'll be showing them to you soon, but I wanted to go ahead and do a haul so that you can just see what I've been doing for the last week. So let me know what you guys think down below if there's anything that you didn't see that you think I should get or anything you want to know more about, any questions, definitely let me know, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!